as he'll work out of the shotgun for the first time today. Hiller will come down underneath, and he's got big Jamarco Simmons in open space. Simmons inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. The line to make is down at the 22-yard line, five wide for Tim Hiller. He wants Jamarco Simmons on the grab. That's a first down inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. As a, that's a gain of 13 more from 31 yards. Potter's got a lot of leg on it, and he'll put three on the board for Western Michigan. Juice Williams up back to work for the 43-yard line. Run that stretch play, and just as Jason Ford is belted to the ground, Western Michigan's Nick Varkenapane. Third down, and let's call it long four. That uh, crossing route is caught by Jamarco Simmons, and he's got the Western Michigan first down, second drive of the opening quarter. Off play action, Jamarco Simmons made the extraordinary one-handed grab. And I saw this young man working up a lather during warm-ups. He looked like he was ready to play. I can't go over and over again and say how many times his size and his hands. He reminds me of a guy I played a lot with in Minnesota, Chris Carter. But hopefully Dufresne learned something and can pick up and build where Mendenhall left off. Juice Williams is going to air it out and go deep, and that is caught by Jeff Cumberland who made that grab and with the ability Juice Williams has he hasn't run the ball a lot this afternoon you know he can run the option he gets out on the end but instead he pitches it to Ford Ford gets out finds the pylon picks up six points they stretch that to the corner now Matt Eller to add the PAT now let's call this second down to 10 now for Tim Hiller. Look how blitz covered, and he came free in the middle on the hot read to Brandon Ledbetter. That outstanding tight end. 22-yard field goal attempt for John Potter as uh, he will knock it dead center. A couple of field goals here is uh, the offensive output for John Potter and Western Michigan to bring the Broncos back to within one. What's at stake today? Illinois looking for their sixth win of the year. They'd like way more than that as uh, they still have two football games to play. But one more officially would make Ron Zook's football team bowl eligible. Now this is a third and seven. Juice Williams just got picked off by London Fryer. Outstanding INT. London Fryer, the son of Irving Fryer, the former NFL great Doug Chapman. He anticipated. Did he jump that route beautifully? And Western Michigan's got great secondary players. And, you know, he sits back, he squats, and he just reads Juice Williams' eyes. He sees Juice Williams. Juice is locked in on his receiver the entire time. Fryer breaks underneath the football, picks it off. That's a great play by a very, very good defensive back. 11 yards on that return. A two-time first-team All-Mac defensive selection, London Fryer. Redshirt freshman out of Stone Mountain, Georgia's on the football field. Crossing route, guess who? Jamarco Simmons running free inside the 15 and down to the 13-yard line. That's 26 yards. This is an opportunity here, six minutes into the second quarter, to take the lead. And that throw is caught. Touchdown, Western Michigan. The throw from Tim Hiller caught by the former quarterback, Robert Arnheim. On that quick slant, Western Michigan with Hiller's 29th touchdown throw of the year. And that's that arm strip we talk about, Hiller. You see, Hiller, he actually puts it on Armheim's back shoulder. A lot of receivers will catch that and pivot outward. He may, have, he may not have wanted Armheim to go in there, but, hey, the former quarterback said, I'm a tough guy, too. I'm going to take this bad boy in here and go ahead and score. Fights three guys off, gets to the end zone, touchdown. Western Michigan definitely needed that. John Potter will add that PAT. Robert Arnheim, the 195-pound second-year freshman, redshirted a year ago, began the year as a number three quarterback. Arnheim battles his way for six. Western Michigan back to the lead. Juice Williams will run that stretch play. Jason Ford will bounce it outside. Boy, Ford still alive, and Austin Pritchard put him on the ground. Third and 17. Big play. Both sides. Illinois to keep the drive alive. Western Michigan coming on the blitz. Williams hit on delivery, and he got picked off by E.J. Biggers. Biggers on the INT. 
Still alive into Illinois territory. Second pick for Western Michigan on the afternoon. Averaging 317 yards through the air per game. Now run the football and run it strong with backup tailback Aaron Winchester out of North Miami Beach. Go back to that uh, Illinois defensive secondary work at the moment. Jamarco Simmons tried to keep his feet in bounds, and he made an amazing catch. Touchdown, Simmons in Western Michigan. Sensational adjustment by Simmons to get the Broncos a quick six. And I feel for Tavon Wilson on this play. He defended this fade route the best that you possibly can. You use this, you use the boundary as your friend. He could have been a bit closer. But this is the what I, I'm telling you. Simmons is a great wide receiver. He uses all of his size to hang his feet in there and catch that ball. They're going to review it, but I think this is six points right here. Uh, put six on the board. A touchdown connection. John Potter to add uh, his second PAT in the afternoon with his uh, second possession of the third quarter. Williams looking deep. And a throw to Pollard, and it was broken up beautifully. Outstanding play by Mario Armstrong. By third and one out of the I formation, go back to Jason Ford, and I don't know. That Western Michigan defense got a real good surge from Greg Marshall. And this crowd coming up here on this Western Michigan side. Fourth and one for Juice Williams. Pressure coming, and that throw is incomplete. Austin Pritchard had a lot of heat on Juice Williams and hit him on delivery. Out of his first out call now, Juice Williams going to go deep. Going that sideline route, and it is caught. Juice Williams finding Aurelius Ben down at the 10-yard line. And Illinois facing a 13-point deficit. This is a third down and a long two. Juice Williams wants Daniel Dufresne. He made the grab, but how about the hit from Boston McCornell? McCornell, the outside linebacker who had Daniel Dufresne sighted up. John Zook's going to get his field goal unit out, and Matt Eller with a chip shot. He converts the 20 yard field goal make to bring Illinois back to within 10. Now the seam route, and that's Jamarco Simmons to haul it down inside the 30. That's a big play of 20 yards and a first down. Potter looking to go three for three on the afternoon. Plenty of leg, and he'll stick it dead center. Three for three on the afternoon for John Potter as he extends the Western Michigan lead to 13 again. For Deuce Williams in the offense. Williams being chased by Selinski. Back of the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Jeff Cumberland, Illinois. They had to get a touchdown on that drive, or this game was over. Now Juice Williams uh, shaken up on that drive as he, he did get pressured. 66-yard drive. Yeah, but Juice Williams, though, has been under siege today as he's got his football team back to within six. This Western Michigan defense has been really, really attacking the two interceptions today. And uh, injured a little bit earlier. Williams with all kinds of time. Pocket collapse, and down he goes. Now on this big third down and four for Tim Hiller. He's going to go to the sideline, and Jamarco Simmons made the grab, but they say it's out of bounds as he did not control the football and get it secured. He may have left leg is in. Left leg is in right there. Does he have possession? Left knee and foot touch inbounds. 90 seconds left. Western Michigan holding on to a six-point lead. Now Williams on first down. Aaron it out deep. Aurelius Ben. He's got it inside the 20 and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. All right, here it is, fourth and ten. The line to make is down inside the nine-yard line. Four wide receivers for Juice Williams. Aurelius Ben is in the slot. Troy Pollard offset. Western Michigan showing blitz. Williams throw, incomplete. Pressure came from Zach Davidson, and the Broncos of Western Michigan came up with the big-time stop.